no water, they have been keeping with that lock, that uh, principle. So, uh, even when she went in, uh, to carry the pregnancy and she was able to have a safe delivery, she's thanking God, especially even for the church as well. Even those ones very close to her house, the close to her, the care for her, the soul love to her. The, in so she's thanking God. She's even really thanking God, especially for all his blessing which God has given to us. That is why she's giving thanks unto God.
What what will be the state of the church? The church will march on. And the gate of hell shall not prevail. If if you look at at this time that the church is in a mess, can let a tabernacle like this. Come on. If if, if we mess up here, God will raise another building. So don't get worried if we like you know you do it. Look here. In all the rubbish that is everywhere, and we have a ministry like it. Don't worry yourself. Please. Not it. Satan is a joker. He doesn't know what he's doing. You will be surprised. I pray that we see their life here when all of these liars they will bow and they will say, Hey, I'm sorry. Please take it as a lesson. Take it as a lesson. You know, when I, when, I, when I read in the papers, I mean, you know, in the social media, that I think we had decided to sell this helicopter. And hey, it's really a good thing. He said it's correct now. Okay, what I'm waiting for is how to give this people the money to do share it to the people because it's not just selling. I didn't put it. I'm talking to you now. Mm-hmm. It's, not, it's not just sharing, selling the helicopter or whatever. Me, I want to see who do you this who put the money. Poor people. Or you are investing in the bank. No, no, no. For the people. If you do that, then I know you are serious. But if you are not serious, TV Joshua punishment is coming. No, as I've said, if you listen to the choir very well, you listen to the Bible reading, already you know the message. It's not, it's not, except if you are dancing, you know, but you are dancing, you will be dancing. Except if you are dancing, you will be expecting me to read your Bible. You have read everything, you have preached there. Am I right or wrong? Wait a minute. If we if we say okay, let's say grace and go. How much you cost up? Now, today, having seen from the beginning of this study last week, which we titled the peacemaker, that is, blessed as the peacemaker, for they shall be glad to be called children of God. And then we saw that Nebar, that wicked person that we are told in the Bible, if was really on the suffering of being held. What you will notice about neighbor is that it, it, it wasn't that he didn't know that that man did, did well. It's not that he didn't know. But these are the kind of rich people we have in Nigeria who are politicians. Once they are making money from salt, like Nepal was making money from, from salt, was not ready to say the truth. They, this individual knew that salt wasn't doing well. But then, never, because he was making money, he's a rich man, he was part of the government, the system. That was why 
he was dealing with David the way he dealt with him. How do we know? You can listen to Abigail, the wife, speaking good of David. There will be no good that God is going to make you king. But you have neighbor saying, eh, you, who is, we know some people who will just leave their master and run away. Is that the kind of person I'm going to give my sheep or whatever to? Problem. 
Because there is nothing he can do in this matter. It's only God that can help him here. That's why Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, and that's what you want to do. Even if your husband is terrific, terrible, your wife is terrific, terrible, you are not going to think of destroying his life or her life. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, let's say that the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. This is the standard, no matter how wicked your husband is. But let go had a different way of dealing with matters. When I married, when I was in nation, when I was in a nation, or in a church, God has a way of dealing with every matter. I was going to see that in the few minutes I'm going to spend now because our time is gone, you're going to see how God used a big girl, a big girl, to deal with the matter very easily by the Spirit of God. Let me read first of all, Proverbs 3, verse 20. Proverbs Proverbs chapter 12, verse 20. The seed is in the heart of them that imagine evil. For to the counselors of peace is joy. Now, the Abigail here knows the kind of husband he has. Abigail is here. To destroy the man. But he does not give himself to God before. But to the counselors of peace is joy. Somebody who depends upon God, you are relaxed because you know at God's own time there is a solution. And that's what happened in that first sermon and see how far I handle the case now. In first Samuel chapter 25, when the woman carried the food I had, everything that David wanted, even more than that, carried it to David. As she got to David, she came down from was on his heart and she came down and knelt down for him. Now, if you look at verse 21 of 1 Samuel chapter 25, now David has said that 1 Samuel 25 verse 21, now David has said, surely in vain have I kept all that this fellow has in the wilderness. So that nothing was me of all that pertained unto him, and that requited me evil for good. So, and go also to God unto the enemies of David. If I leave of all that pertained to him by the morning light, any that pieces against war. And when the guys saw David, she hasted and lighted up the earth and fell before David. On her face and bowed herself to the ground. Now, David had purpose to destroy this evil and, and the whole man there. That but is, this woman, knowing that, knelt down and bowed for her. David is a period, she has not taken my mother and took my way in your room. She went up to me, your money, or go lend you what you mean. And then when she knelt down, I told you, go lend. You know, at that moment, the spirit of God has taken over the woman. I'm happy, you're not going to go to her room. Got to that point now. She, she was no more herself. Okay, she, she has sent this day or so coming with soldiers, with weapons to destroy. You know, at that moment, she was even afraid. What would be the 
reaction of this man. She was not sure. What do you mean that meeting? What do you mean? Hello, Minja. Where are you from? Oh, come on, see you somewhere. And I thought she would just get, yeah, that's the moment to speak in tongues. You know, those of you who think you cannot speak in tongues, foolishly. That's the moment. Nobody, I mean, because she was in a stress now, a terrible circumstance. I know she was praying. I know she was speaking in tongues. I know the Spirit of God was upon her. That is the moment you need the presence of the whole Trinity to support you. Ah, came down from him. Oh, ah. He began to prophesy. You know, you know, you see, problem in life for a Christian, we push you to next level spiritually. That's what we don't know. It will be shutting your prayer life. It will be shutting your hearing how God speaks. This morning, when little problem happens, little correction, little discipline, and, and then the wrong man, it's because you are not a child of God. Look, if you have a great problem, maybe no money, no be no husband, no wife, things are tough, that's the moment if you're a child of God to see the greatness of God, the power of God. That's the moment. It's not a time to begin to blame God. But it's a time to plug yourself into prayer. Plug okay. yourself into spirituality. Plug is not oil, no. it's not water, it's not mountain, no. I tell you, I told you last week. Jesus said, the time has come that we will not pray on mountain again. The time has come we will not pray in Jerusalem again. But we will pray in the spirit. Because God wants people in anywhere, prison yard, toilet, bathroom, in your room, in the church. When you have a problem, you pray. Those are the people God is looking for. Yeah, because now, see how human began to talk now. We know that this is now inspirational language. Not ordinary now. That's the Abigail, how she's talking now. And when Abigail saw David, she escaped and lighted up the earth and fell before David on her feet and bowed herself to the ground and fell at his feet, verse 24, and said, Upon me, my Lord, upon me, let this iniquity be. And let thy handmaid, I pray thee, speak in the audience and hear the voice of thy handmaid, verse 25. Let not my Lord, I pray thee, regard this man of Bethlehem. He was his name he. So is he. Never is his name. I'm foolish with him. But I, thy handmaid, son of the young man of my Lord, whom thou didst send. Now therefore, my Lord, as the Lord liveth, and as the soul liveth, seeing the Lord as withholding thee from coming to shed blood, and from avenging thyself with thy own hand, now let thy enemies. And they that speak evil to my Lord be as neighbor. Can you see me already judging, speaking through God that every enemy of David should be like neighbor? And what that means? Neighbor should die. That's the language of heaven. So, those who saw, we pray for God, so I think it's never in me. Your God will be never in me. Because those who must be or could be never in Ask yourself. This man, woman, was protecting the husband, but that's not what heaven wanted at that time. What heaven wanted is this man to die. And she was saying it without knowing. Now, verse 28. Even let me read verse 27. And now, this blessing which thy handmaid has brought unto my Lord, let it even be given unto the young men that follow my Lord. I pray thee, forgive the trespass of thy handmaid. 
For the Lord to certainly make my law a sure house. Because my Lord fighted the battles of the Lord. And evil has not been found in, the, in all that thy days. Yet, a man is looking for pursuit and to seek thy soul. For the soul of my Lord shall be bound in the bundle of life with the Lord thy God. And the soul of thy enemy, then shall you sling out as out of the middle of his tree. Verse 30. And shall come to pass when the Lord shall have done to my Lord according to all the good that he has spoken concerning thee. And shall have appointed thee ruler over Israel. Verse 31. That this shall be no grief unto thee, no offense of heart unto my Lord. Either that thou hast shed blood or slain, or that my Lord hath avenged himself. But when the Lord shall have dealt well with my Lord, then remember thy hand me. Here was a true prophetic statement that that man never, without annoying, with that. He knew because as she spoke that word, never died. We see no we conclude the reading, the teaching next to And as she was speaking further, she told David, you know when the spirit takes over, you will say what you don't even know you are saying. Because now the woman is connected to heaven. It's no longer an ordinary woman now. And she now told David, now what God is saying to me is that you are going to marry me. And she said it clearly there that when you have won the battle. This enemy are dead, don't forget your handmaid. Come and take me. So we pay the battle about him, but I'm about to put it for real money. My bad name. If you ask Abigail, how come about surrendering yourself as a wife? She will tell you, I don't know. I just saw that I was saying what I was saying. Have you ever been there? You don't know what you're trying to I know. So you probably want some tongue, sorry. Please, if you learn how to. Allow God to control your problem. Even in that bad marriage, it will be fantastic. This is where we need the power and the spirit of God. If you have been running this race with all this water, oil, and all this rubbish prophetic thing they are telling you, you can't succeed. You'll be going down, 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 down. But since I really because we can't make progress. Look at that big girl here. Our work was to settle the problem. Not there to say never to die. No. I tell you what this rubbish prayer they are praying. Die, die, die. It's bringing problem upon them. That's why the church is in this name. That's why why you are not learning anything. I hear some people, they say they give their back to Christian who and their children are misbehaving. What children? What Christian who? Christian who? Where? Where? All you are praying in your house is that, that, that. And the church will take your daughter or son to is that, that, that. And oil, oil and water, water. Why won't your child misbehave? You are not in a Christian environment. You are, you are in an environment of Satan. And what do you expect? What do you want? It is what you show you read. Example is Adeboe. Look at his son, Leke. How the boy is behaving like a mad boy. And he cannot control, he can't, he can't control the boy. 
even, you don't even go too far. It is your life that will determine your child. What, what, what you are saying, your family, your son is you, your daughter is you. Because Oh, 
11, you can even become 8. You will still be dynamic. You will still be on fire. When God worked on that man, Moses, even with all the mistakes he made, he lived in one 20 years and he was still on fire. And God was using it. Now, look at it. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. I read from verse chapter 7. Now, when they had this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? What they have been missing, the children of the stranger. That, look, that Jesus will kill. That Jesus will destroy. Is the solution to your problem. And he told them, how God sent him to the world to re-engage, re-empower the world. Give fresh fire to the world. And you people mistakenly came. Shall I ever show us who I am? if you are not to who I am. She bore what's a big way she should know. He told them, What's up for all? Even you're killing him, even help to achieve God's objective. So, you have even done well. But you will suffer for it. And your problem will remain. The only thing now is repent. Before they even had that day, Christ, what can we do now? Because we know we are lost. Because no more miracle. But if you be seen by the Pharisees and the Sadducees, we didn't know that the children that killed Jesus, what do we do now? That's what you should be asking yourself. I've been in Christianity for years. Are you happy? That's a question to ask yourself. I'm not sure you can ever be happy. Because if you are happy, God will not raise this ministry. That's why we thought the church is in town. Why should God raise this ministry again? Five years ago, why? And if you are here, it's because you are not. Happy like I was not happy myself. And when I got here, when God brought me here, I found peace. I repented of some errors of my life. You know, when I was in deeper life, I didn't believe in prophetic ministry. But then when God called me out now, if I did call me out with teaching ministry, I am prophetic ministry. Oh, that is the way to be happy. I said, God, I'm sorry. I repented that. I will really go in for it. And I'm really in for it. Really in for it. Oh. But not like what they are doing in town. I'm doing it according to the Bible. And you know, my Bilu, I wash it on, I wash it, but it's not a push it, but it's not a That's why you see what God is doing here. That's why you see his power here. That's why you see the anointing here. Because we believe the totality of the New, Ghost, New Testament gospel. The reality of the gospel is the gospel in Europe. Alright. Now, listen to the answer to that thing. He gave to them. There were many. One point. Verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's what you mean. And receive the Holy Ghost. What does it mean to repent? 
You know, you need to watch. Let me know who you are. You know all those things you are doing out there. All those boys, all those work of prophet. You know, using different animals, using different foods, calling incantation. You will be great and repent of all of that. It's going to be a shame. Praying that somebody should die, whether spirit or human being, to tell what I'm sorry about. I love that my sister. I didn't even know she was the one who just put to bed, who came out with her baby to pay. And she said, because she was using. Oil used to, you know, water. She's coming from such background. She's not a, a, a young woman per se. She's travel around helping to, you know. And she said she made up her mind. She will not use oil. She will not use water. I mean, and look at her testimony. She won't deliver. Even though it's taking a long time, she gave the last bath. But she doesn't rely on God and serve God to himself in her life. Thank you. 
I'm going to a level where some of the things they are doing, I will stand against it. And I can stop them from doing a lot of things they are doing. Because owned by French English people, I mean French people, white man jobs, not African jobs. So I now look at the whole thing in my mind. I sat 15 years then. The way they are treating me, I have to go on eight day retirement. Because I was no longer enjoying myself. Among them there. So I decided to go on eight retirement. That was what I was thinking. Because it surprised me. I know I keep praying. Lord, let your will be done. That's why something happened. Oh, While I was, I was just waiting for me to clock 15. I just needed two months more. Then I put in my letter of getting the time and I put it. And that was how God intervened. And said, Somebody from the old trouble started from France. That's how they sent somebody down to Nigeria. To reorganize some departments of the company. And me, I had a big office, but I had no job anymore. So this person, I don't know what happened. He just gave the instruction that they should ask me to join them at their meeting. So that's why I went to that meeting. And I sat down there. Because I had no job anymore. So they were talking. And they were talking about area that I'm so good about. This is international trade. And because they have removed me, I can't get to work anymore. So, in that meeting, nobody could provide solution to what they are discussing. So when I saw the confusion among them, so I just said, okay, uh, I'm sorry, dear manager, can I just coming with an idea because I have a solution. Now, because that man is a new person, a white person, he listened to you. If it were the class that were there, he would have said, no, no, don't worry. We are going to have a lot of fun. I tell this one, why do you have to do it? Why do you have to do it? Yes, I told them what to do. And that was it. What is it? So, I left the chapter, went to my office. Two weeks after, that was how that top man sent for me. He now said, this the manager in charge of your department. Didn't he didn't tell you that I wanted to see you since that day? Two weeks later, he sent me to the chapter. He said, no. 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 To be sit down. And he said, You see, uh, I've seen you and we are trying to get to me to certain level. I'm going to create a new department. I'm going to post you there. I'm going to, you know, give you power over a number of departments. It was like a dream to me. Yeah, I'm going to call one. I'm going to call I'm going to call one. I'm going to call one. And that all those departments who are my enemy. I will be supervising them. It was, you know, if you me that was planning to go, now to be at home, this is my enemy. So something just came on my mind. I said, I listen to you, I agree with you. But, you know, these people, they have put me on one grade for long. He said, no, don't worry, I'm promoting you immediately. I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know. I said, I don't 
some people may ask another one. I said, okay, I'm a I They also have been a idiot car with the driver. Ah, I was going to say they will be The man was just agreeing to number two. Me, I'm not to have been a baby, but the coffin on your copy, Joe, on the command down on the command phone. I was confused. Is this real? Then I jumped in. I asked you. I said, okay, I've listened to that. You're not catching me. Like, this man, you know, it's so hard. I said, okay, you give me time. You, have to, you know, you are married, and I have to discuss with my family before I go. Okay. And he shook me, and now he's shaking me as a senior over the other. So when he, when he shook me, when I went out, I was just wondering. Ah, when I got to my office, I couldn't believe what I was saying. Oh, that's how God began to promote me. At last, this evil people, they carry no, eh, show that my car. <laughs> that's that's why they want to keep the boy. You know, it's all that you can kill me. Now, what I told you on this story? If you give only ghost chance. I'm not talking of this only ghost. Not the one that will be shaking you like mad person. No. Only ghost. Okay, see me now. Am I looking like a madman? Do you see rod in my hand? Am I speaking dragon? Am I speaking it or not? I will be able to succeed in life. I hope I let us pray.